Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Two major Republican leaders brutally ambushed overnight. Now police are involved. Over the past month, tensions have been heating up between the Democratic and Republican parties, especially since the likes of Representative Maxine Waters have been urging their far-left supporters to accost Trump administration officials as well as high-profile Republicans. People such as Press Secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders, former Environmental Protection Agency Scott Pruitt, and Secretary of the Department of Homeland Security Kirsten Nielsen have all been accosted in public places. Now to add to the list is Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell. What he recently went through at a restaurant in Kentucky shows you exactly how far the left has and will go to. Downtrend reported. California Rep. Maxine Waters has called for Democrats to attack and harass Republicans whenever they are in public and all of Liberaldome has embraced this immature and uncivil tactic. Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell was accosted by a handful of leftist losers as he left a restaurant. This group, apparently associated with the Democratic Socialist movement not only verbally abused McConnell but also issued veiled threats of DH or violence. McDonnell and a few associates were leaving a restaurant in Louisville on Saturday when several leftists, mostly fat ladies, confronted him. The Louisville Democratic Socialists of America posted this video with a warning that McConnell will get no peace until all illegal aliens are released from custody and set loose in the United States. McConnell actually doesn't give a shit as he makes his way to his car. The small group of around five losers are chanting, vote you out. Maybe the fat ladies think they get extra votes, but even if voting were by the pound, this insignificant group of people hardly represents a revolution to unseat McConnell. As the group follows McConnell, one of them calls him turtle head. I think this insult came from the lanky older dork, who is really trying to get up in McConnell's face. One of the female agitators asks, what are you doing to get the babies back? In reference to the discontinued policy of separating criminal illegal aliens from their children when apprehended sneaking into the country. The silliness of this incivility actually gets dark when one of the male socialists starts yelling, we know where you live over and over. This is a very clear threat of violence and RDH. Nobody says something like this for any other reason than to intimidate and to imply that they intend harm. I sincerely hope the police and the Secret Service review this video and arrest the leftist scum who threatened Mitch McConnell. As McConnell gets in his vehicle, the mob of uselessness starts chanting abolish ICE. It's a little hard to understand at first because these are some inbred leftist hicks, but after a while it becomes clear they are calling for the abolishment of the agency that enforces our nation's immigration laws. McConnell's SUV pulls away and one of the socialists yells, no comfort for fascists. Then one or two of these losers shout, no comfort for peace which makes absolutely no sense. As the video cuts out it sounds like one of these assholes says, we'll vote you out bitch. Mitch McConnell played it really cool and never once acknowledged these losers, which actually seemed to disappoint them. Considering the numerous previous attempts by leftists to KL Republicans, I think McConnell and every GOP member of Congress is going to have to start traveling with armed security. Thanks, dickheads. I was going to say that conservatives should go to these socialists' places of employment and harass them so they know what it feels like, but we all know none of them actually have jobs. However, this is not the first time something like this has occurred. Not even this week. In Richmond, Virginia bookstore owner had to call 911 this past week when individuals confronted former White House official and chief strategist Stephen Bannon for his political beliefs. A woman allegedly called Bannon a piece of trash before leaving the store when the owner called 911. The owner told a local news outlet that Bannon was peacefully looking at books and minding his own business when the woman confronted him. When he confronted the woman he told her if she did not stop he would call the police. She refused, and he left to make the call. But when he came back she had already left. Shortly thereafter the police confirmed the 911 call was placed but they also said the call was cancelled before officers responded. This type of behavior is exactly what is wrong with our country. Bookstores are about books that are based on ideas often contrary to each other. Freedom of thought, freedom of religion and freedom of speech are ingrained in the fabric of our society. The liberal left and the radicalized left have forgotten what this country is all about. While simultaneously fighting against what they feel is so bad they have become the very thing they hate. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click, like, and subscribe. Thank you.